Camilla Herbrick, Duchess opens up on personal tragedy a new video, we got a lot. Camilla, Duchess of Congur, opened on a personal tragedy a new video released to mark world osteoporosis day. Camilla recalled the terror pain of mother Rosalind Strand suffered before dying from the fragile bone disease. The Duchess said in the emotional video, in those dark old days it was seldom discussed, rarely diagnosed and usually attributed to old women with so-called Dowager Tums. My family and I knew nothing about it and it were a lot to know how we could help alleviate the terrible pain she suffered. Addressing osteoporosis as a silent disease, Camilla commended the progress made by scientists and researchers who today can help those who suffer from it much better ways than in the 1990s when her mother died. She continued, but how many times have changed? Today, huge strides have been made in the treatment and research into osteoporosis, and we now know how it can be prevented and how we can support those who are living with it. Camilla noted it's important to stay as active as possible, even during a pandemic, to bones healthy. She said, we know it is vital to eat the right food, to take regular and weight-bearing exercise and, so importantly, to educate some people as to how to look after the bone health for those living with osteoporosis. There is now, thankfully, a wide range of treatment available to slow bone loss and increase bone marks. We're lucky to have brilliant charities all over the world offering practical and emotional help. The Duchess has been the Brown President of the Royal Osteoporosis Society for decades. In 1997, she became its patron as Camilla Parker Bowles. In 2001, four years before Mary, Prince Charles and officially joined the royal family, she became the organization's president. Today, the Duchess is hosting a tea at Clarence House dedicated to representatives and supporters of Royal Osteoporosis Society. Craig Jones, the charity's chief executive, said, we warmly welcome this message of support from Her Royal Highness of the Duchess of Conwer. Osteoporosis affects 3.5 million in the UK, but is much less well understood than the other health conditions. Crucially, the health of your bones can be improved throughout life by a healthy diet, regular exercise, and vitamin D. Kamala had often spoken about importance of physical activities. At the height of lockdown, when she was staying Prince Charles at the Scottish home in Brick Hall, the Duchess confessed she was flowing online dancing classes. During a video call with Darcy Bushell and Angela Rapine, Camilla said that she has attended for more than one year with the Royal Academy of Dance Silver Swans Clashes, dance courses designed for the elderly. And the Royal did. The coronavirus pandemic had not stopped her from attending her weekly dance class as she joined it regularly for two sessions. Kemmler, who in April became the new vice patron of the Royal Camp Academy of Dance, opened up upon her exercise regime. She said, I do a combination of bed, silver swans, and a bit of pilots, and a lot of walking, which I loved. We've all got to keep active. If we don't, we will seize up and won't be able to get out back in the morning. Choking out her dancing skills, the Duchess added, I'm very, very much of a beginner and probably will always remain a beginner, but I do feel after a year or 18 months of doing that, maybe I've improved a tiny bit. But I'm certainly not going to be taking to the stage. I shall keep it on my own home very privately.